if you guys are dealing with the same script that I was recently dealing with, that's really long, really weird, seems to not, you can't understand it at all, and says, this file was generated using Luref Obfuscator version whatever, then I'm here to help you with that, because that really frustrated me. Seriously, I spent three days, three whole days, trying to figure out what was going on. So, the first thing I would recommend is getting rid of plugins. If you have any suspicious plugins, all you gotta do is push manage plugins and then find it and remove whatever it, you may not want. So that's the first thing, and then play it, and if, if it still uh, appears, then you it's not a plugin, okay? After you delete every single plugin, you can reinstall them afterward, just delete them all. Make sure that it's not still there. Second thing, if that doesn't do it, what you want to do is you want to say uh, publish to Roblox as a new game, okay? Make sure you save your game, then push pl publish to Roblox as, and then create a new place and name it your game, uh, your game name, testing for hacks or whatever you want to call it. This is just your own little thing. Do not make this public. Just make it private for yourself. After that, so this won't touch your actual game. It'll just uh, test or touch what's going on uh, inside of your. Uh, it's going to test it in a different game. So after you've done that, what you can do is you can select every single thing in the workspace, delete it, and play the game and see if your error or whatever's going on still shows up in the output. It does, so I know it's not something in the workspace, which means I can undo that. Everything in the workspace is fine, which means I can go down here and look for what else it could be. And eventually, if if you've deleted everything except for everything in server script service, if you have a ton of scripts in here, right, um, that's only two, but for example, um, and then, uh, for example, just these two, then you can just go through one at a time and make sure that you don't have something looking like this. If you find this, there's your source, and you just need to delete it right away. And then if you play the game, it shouldn't appear. Ways to just avoid that in the future is, one, make sure the plugin is, um, is professional before you download it. Two, don't insert things from the toolbox that don't have this little logo on it. Um, this logo means that it's a uh, it's tested and is a quality item. So I would suggest not even using these things like this. There's no way that I mean this could seriously house whatever problems you're doing. So just don't use things like that. Um, if you find something like like a table and you find some, a one with this mark, you're good. Otherwise, make it your yourself, okay? So that's my advice. Um, and I hope that helped you guys. If it didn't, I'm sorry, but keep keep working at it. Keep, uh, there are really good pages online. There are Roblox developer pages. That, that really helped me. I would suggest looking at those. And yeah, just uh, and a way if if you're pretty new to this and you have used something in the uh, and like this and say I'm just gonna insert a script for an example, okay? Um, and say you don't even know how to find that. You, you don't even know without looking without looking through the model individually. That that would take a lot of time. A way to do that is to click on the model and then search script. If scripts show up inside the highlight, the blue highlighted, uh, if there's a script inside of the blue highlighted item that you just inserted, then you know to uh, probably just take it out completely. Okay, so that's my advice. I hope that really helped you guys. Um, and yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos.